हाई स्टूडेंट्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट टू थाउजेंड एंड थर्टीन एग्जाम इट्स अ टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन वेर यू आर रिक्वायर टू फाइंड आउट दैट वेर अ पर्टिकुलर ब्लॉक फ्रॉम मेन मेमरी गेट्स मैप्ड ऑन टू द कैश इन केस ऑफ के वे सेट एसोसिएटिव मैपिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी रीड द इंटायर क्वेश्चन देन विल सॉल्व इट इन अ के वे सेट एसोसिएटिव कैश द कैश इज डिवाइडेड इन टू वी सेट्स each of which consists of k lines the lines of a set are placed in sequence one after another the lines in set s are sequenced before the lines in set s plus 1 the main memory blocks are numbered 0 onwards the main memory block numbered j must be mapped to any one of the cache lines from you have these four options just analyze these options so let's try to solve this one they are saying in k v set associative mapping you have a total of v sets in cache k v means each of these sets will contains k blocks okay k blocks or k cache lines now you also know in k v set associative mem uh, memory mapping we have something called groups in our main memory or ram okay even though i have discussed this concept of groups a lot of times and in that theory lecture of this topic i also just explained a very big example in great detail still i'll just recap it so you see number of blocks in one group will be equal to the number of sets now you have a total of v sets in this particular example v is equal to 4 there are total four sets in cache okay so that means in every group there will be four main memory blocks one 2 3 4 this is group number 0 okay similarly let me draw all these groups okay so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 groups in our ram numbered from group 0 to group 7 okay now they are asking for any line j any block or line j in our main memory where will that be mapped into the cache so you know nth line of a block will be mapped to nth set sorry nth line of a group for example this is a group third line in this group will be mapped to third set okay so this is third set anywhere in third set also you know each set has k lines that's the reason in options you can see from line numbers this to this they have given the starting and ending point for line numbers or they have given a range of lines now you see in each set there are k lines okay k v set associative that means whichever line you are discussing about it will be certainly mapped on to some set saying that it will be mapped on to some set also means we will we we will be having a range of k lines where it can be mapped that means just have a look at these options i am going to display the image that means option number c and option number d can be directly rejected because these two options don't contain a total of k lines okay you just have a look at option number a and b 
ऑप्शन नंबर ए स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जे मॉड वी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय के एंड गोज टिल जे मॉड वी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय के प्लस के माइनस वन सो इन टोटल दीज विल बी k lines similarly in option b also to the starting line number we are adding k minus 1 okay so these will also be a total of k minus 1 that means just by knowing this much basic information you are able to reject last two options because they simply don't contain k k blocks okay now let's find out the answer to this question say you are discussing about any random block maybe this one if this is the jth block which they are talking about in question where will it be mapped first of all we need to see in this group which line number is it it is 0 1 2 it is the second line or block so it will be uh, mapped to second set zeroth set first set second set it will be mapped to any of these lines okay similarly if you are talking about this block of main memory it will be mapped to the last set because it is last block in its group so the last set will be its mapping you see actually we have four blocks in every group also we have four sets so the first one gets mapped to the first set and last block gets mapped to the last set similarly for every group it's same now you see if you want to calculate which block number is this one in its own group you need to divide this j say this one is j we are talking about this block number you need to divide j by 4 okay because each group contains four items so dividing j by 4 first calculate first let's see what is j so j is 14 i have written 14 here starting from zeroth line j is 14 now because we are making groups of four four blocks to find out which numberth block is this 14 in a group of four items we need to divide 14 by 4 okay so divide 14 by 4 you get 4 3 za 12 and remainder is 2 4 za 12 means just Uh, leave first three groups traverse the first three groups completely and in the next group which is the fourth group or if you are starting group numbers from 0 this one will be g3 in g3 it is the second line so zeroth line in g3 first line second line okay and this is the remainder now from here because we are considering remainder you will get to know that mathematical function that can be used is mod so we are taking we are dividing 14 by 4 so actually you can write j which is 14 mod 4 which is number of blocks in one group now number of blocks in one group also means the total number of sets so you can write j mod v it will be j mod v okay we are talking about this set number so 2 is the set number it will be mapped on to this set number now say j mod v is this set okay but in question they are not asking about which set it gets mapped on to they are asking about the range of lines that means you need to find line number of this line and this line so the range will be from here to here okay let's try to find the line number of this line this is zeroth set zeroth set first set second set say this one 
is the set we are talking about. J mod V comes out to be this set. Now you know in each set we have k lines. If I multiply this number by number of lines per set, we will get the starting address of line of the first line of this set. Okay. Because anyways this one is going to be the zeroth line. So multiplying by k you need not worry to add one here. Okay. So by multiplying this number, multiplying set number by number of lines per set, you will get the first line of that set only. Okay. So from this number, you go till k minus one more items because we are including this uh, set, this line number as the first one in that range of lines. Okay. So here k is four. That means from here you need to add three. One, two, three. Okay. That is k minus one. So that will adding k minus one means j mod v times k plus k minus 1. So this will be the range where any line j will be uh, mapped onto. Okay, so what I am trying to say here is this j mod v, suppose it comes out to be equal to 2, like we just saw in our earlier example. So that means we are talking about set number 2. This is set number 0. This is set number 1. This is set number 2. Now we need to find out range. That means from this line until this line, we need to find out the line numbers. Also, each set contains k items. Here j mod v is 2. Also, we know that k is 4. Multiplying 4 into 2, we get 8. So this entire number, this entire number will be 8. Now, you start counting from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You might think we need to add 1 here to get to the desired line. But you are wrong here because this line number will start from 0. If you start from 1, this will be line number 8. But if you start from 0, this will be line number 8. Okay. That means you don't need to add 1 here. Okay. And next thing is from here, we need to count k more lines. This is the first line. Counting k more means to this first line, add k minus 1. Okay. This, so k's value is 4. Okay. If this one is first, to reach here, you need to add 3 only. Okay. Because this is first. This one we have already counted. And 1, 2, 3. So adding 3, we reach to the last uh, line of our range. Okay. So this number plus k minus 1 gives you k lines. Because this is first line. Adding k minus 1 more lines will give a total of k lines. So this is your answer.